Hey, it's Ryan. Thank you for watching. Here's a new video. It looks a little different maybe because we're trying something new. I am using my Sony mirrorless camera, the A6100 to be precise, as a webcam. Right now we're recording this through OBS and I wanted to show you an easy way to use your Sony as a webcam. So if you want better quality for your video conferences or for your Twitch page or mixer or streaming or gaming, whatever it is, this is a really simple way to use your Sony as a webcam. Now, the first thing you want to do is download Sony's Imaging Edge desktop software. Just go to this website, click on this, download the software for Windows or Mac or whatever you're using. It'll install. Uh, of course, we agree. Sure, sure. Yeah, all that. Now, uh, moving forward, just let it install. It's all very simple. You've installed things on your computer before, and there it is. Now, download the additional stuff you need. Click on the download button. Choose where you want to save it. Again, go through the steps. You know the deal. Sure, we agree to that too. That'll probably be fine. Make sure you connect the Sony charging cable uh, to your computer. There you go. Now it's a data cable. And then what you want to do is plug the other end, the small end, into your multi-port, which is the port you use for charging or data transfer. In this case, on the 6100, that is the top port above the micro HDMI. Once this is all installed, you go to click remote and maybe it'll find your camera. If it doesn't, there's a very simple solution here as well. As you see, it's not showing up when I click the button. No Sony A6100, try to refresh it, and there was no camera recognized. It was recognizing it as a USB device. The only real issue I ran into during this process was that at first, the computer was recognizing the camera as a USB device, and it wouldn't pick it up as a remote camera. There's a really easy solution for this too. It's just buried in the settings. Go to control with smartphone, turn that off because you don't want to control it with your smartphone. You want to control it with your PC. Now in the menu, you want to find the USB connection and now you'll have the option to use PC remote. That's the setting you want right there. Go back into your software, check it out, camera's connected, and there it is. Now, when you double click it, it should connect very easily to the software. There you go, we've got an image now, thumbs up. In OBS, to recognize your camera, you're gonna to wanna to add a source. There you go. Your Sony will show up. There's the Sony imaging window right there. You can shrink that down as you want. To crop it, hold Alt in uh, OBS, and you can crop it down, get, that re get the rest of that stuff out of the window. There you go, I got most of it out. That'll do, and now you've got your video source from your Sony, a real nice webcam usually looks better than the camera built into your computer. If you wanna know if your Sony camera is supported, you can go to their website. They have the whole list of supported cameras. This here is the E-mount camera. So you've got the Sony A92, the A7S, the A7S II, the A7R, the whole list, but they also have several other cameras that are supported. So you can check if this will work for your Sony camera. Well, there you go. A real simple way to use your Sony as a webcam for your stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's something I use and I hope it helps you out too. As always, thank you for watching my channel. I do appreciate it. This is Ryan saying have a good one. I'll see ya.